Okay, we are a zoo. What's the worst that can happen, right? Heard what is the worst thing that could happen? Yeah. What's up, FFT? How's it going? This is Yoshi on the mic tonight. Grace, uh, you guys will be watching Drace play, but I will be chatting with Wingman. Yo, yo. Alright, so just to uh, run down what tonight's, or the fourth battle test we'll be covering. Uh, tonight we're working on basically making sure that our match system is good to go. Uh, our Discord bot rolled uh, Wingman as the host, so he gets to pick three maps out of the 15 map, or 15 test map pool that we designated. I'm getting ready to post up all the information that in the chat in a second. Good, are you looking good to go? Are you still adjusting? Oh, give me just a second, sorry. Good. Maybe good. Alright, so we got um, Zerchel Falls first, Mount Bravinia second, and then if there is a tie, then Grog Heights third, with Arithmetic being banned by both players. He should be hosting for you, so. Yeah. As in, Cody should be hosting, ideally. So, worst case scenario, you have those, but you still have to pick. Alright, got the spawns ready. Let's give this, give this a shot. I'm getting ready to start hosting. Getting ready to start? Okay. Let me know when you get. I am hosting. He is hosting. All right. Uh, switch to live. Do you switch host guests for deployment areas, or does it not really matter? So what we have determined in multiplayer is the most um, most spawns are based on the story spawns on the maps. There's a few exceptions. Um, some spawns are slightly deviated from the story spawns, but most of the time they are where they are at in story. So. Uh, where the enemy spawns at is basically still the same case. Uh, so for this case, for example, since Wingman is host, he is technically Ramza, or the, the, the party, and Drace will be the enemy, so he should get the enemy spawns. Special, uh, special controls are off, correct? Correct, yeah. Time limit 15, no action limit, special controls no off, traps. no tra or traps off, arithmetics allow. Of course, we're banning them either way. So. Finding advantages to this one. Uh, um, which map are we am I doing first? Oh, just, sorry, I mean. I need it. Uh, is our shell falls? Finding advantages to either spawn area. Um, some maps, a few maps, do have a little bit of an advantage. Uh, the 15 maps we selected, for the most part, they are very minor advantages or disadvantages. Uh, this map, for example, is our shell falls. Of course, they spawn directly across from each other, so there is no positioning of disadvantage. Um, you know, if you decide to like go straight up the map or go straight down from your spawn, that's fine, but you both spawn at the same height. But that is one of the goals, is to try to get maps that are, aren't are like pretty obvious and like one, one team being eight or ten height above the other kind of deal. That, that definitely does matter. 
but also at the same time, host has power to pick certain maps, for example, like Mount Bravinia, if you want to run Geomancy and use the strongest Geomancy in the game, Magma Surge, uh, Dean would obviously want to pick that map and probably slap a couple Geomancies on. All right, we can already start game one here. Once again, if you're just tuning in, this is Drace's POV versus Wingman playing a best of three series. Let's see what happens. What's up, Ludi? How you doing? We're joining, tuning in. We already start the first game. This is your host, Yoshi, coming at you hot. You are watching Drace play, but I will be here chatting with Wingman while they play since he's basically been on the mic pretty much pretty much every test so I wanted to come and switch it up oh, all the time. damn it I forgot which side I was going to be on I thought it was going to be on the other side heard <sighs> sorry wasn't sure what I went on my bath here the cliff so I started using height range on the bow <laughs> alright let's see what we got start with Drace this is going to be interesting yep Balthier and, and Agrius coming in hot. Right, let's start with the haste region on both or on Drace's team. Yes, you can target invisible characters in, in PvP. The biggest thing that invisibility does in PvP is that it allows you to ignore evasion or a target's evasion while you're invisible. You can target someone in PvP that has invisibility. It's not like the in, uh, in PvE where AI pretty much just ignores you. Yes, but I think there are exceptions to that. You know, like um, like for example, Art of War I think still has a chance. And it looks at that chance. It might not actually. I haven't really looked at that part. That is something interesting to check out though at some point, Trace. Like checking out like invisible, having invisible status, and then trying to art of war somebody, since that should ignore evasion. Mm, I feel <laughs> like a shield would still just uh. Well, just for a temporary, it's like a it's like a guaranteed hit kind of deal, like a concentrate. All oh, right. Yeah. Is he uh, running all mana shields? Yes, yeah, Lydia. To answer your question, uh, is this an unmodified copy of FFT? Correct. This is a vanilla version of War of the Lions. Build because you're an asshole. Mana shield on everything. All right. Let's <laughs> see, you're an asshole, by the way. Mana shield on everything. <laughs> okay, you got a mana shield. It's a mana shield. Uh, mana shielded everything too. <laughs> <laughs> oh you got, god. You got anything to worry about? You got Balthier. Yeah, no, he's he's ridiculous. The question is, do I want to be the first one to push in and pop this cherry wide open or not? I guess we'll find on the next episode. Yeah, right. Let's go. Who do I want to get rid of first? Time is of the essence. Going on here. Darkness or darkness jump. Let's go ahead and clip. It's not trying to mess up. <laughs> Yeah, so Multios is uh, pretty awesome. Um, it is a modified version of PPS SPP emulator. But uh, yeah, we haven't had any problems with it once we got everything initially set up. Alright. We made Dark Knights come in with Crushing Blow. And Mana Shield. Okay. See what that Balthier can do. Correct, uh, Eludia. This is not on a dedicated server. This is still technically like land to land, um, but Emultios is handling all that stuff. Um, that would be completely dependent on your firewall and your and your NAT and your router, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, the, like Emultios, I don't know if it's actually doing UPnP. You know, kind of just picking the opening the port up, whichever port he needs. I'm not too sure if it's doing all that. But what I do know is you do not need to do DMZ. So uh, I think that's one thing that the base PPS SPP emulator uh, you got to usually set up on. Alright, so 
what the Balthier is going to do. Teleporting in, barraging. All right, taking down the Dark Knight. Good choice. Good choice. Uh, so, FFT life. Um, I've actually been able to connect through a Multios uh, using a 4G network. Like, um, like PC versus Android kind of deal. Yeah. A Multios is the only emulator that's actually managed to do that, too. I, like, everything else hasn't. They got to use, like, Hamachi, and then, we, then you run, to, run it through VPNs and all other stuff, and it just gets difficult. Damn, that's a hard-hitting book. That was a pretty hard-hitting... Yeah. It's <laughs> pretty hard-hitting. Holy shit. Just... Okay, yeah, you can definitely do that. Oh, another uh, interesting tidbit with the Multios too. Um, if if I'm on a Multios PC and get on a Multios Android, I can still be signed into my same a Multios account. Um, there, it doesn't like kick you or like boot you out of the other, for example. So you could, in theory, if you want to do some playtesting, see if it actually works. Like if you want to use like 4G versus Wi-Fi kind of deal, um, you could do that. Or at least try. Oh, that. we can try and see if uh, I can hit through shields right now. Actually, perfect. Let's see what you get. Right, so main man's gonna attempt to use invisible to see if he can ignore evasion. Now mana shield should still proc though, in theory. I was looking at the damage that's coming. Oh in. yeah, uh, with he's got reflexes on, so it's still a smaller chance. But I've got a. Uh, I've got a 63% chance to render shield. Okay, it's not bad. All right. What'd you go for the shield, though? Out of curiosity. That was a good break. Uh, get a higher chance to break a sword. A sword is under 50. Okay. He went for the sword's lesser chance. Uh, Drace is off mic tonight, FFT. You have the beautiful Yoshi here at your presence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're good, Ludi. I appreciate even just dropping the message in the FFTO server. Biggie. The biggest thing right now is just getting people to show up, hopping in, doing some play tests, and nothing, you know, nothing serious, just coming in and trying some stuff out. What's up, Dan? Yes, this is the base War of the Lions version. Yep, it's the only version of the PSX, PSP, or the mobile version that actually has multiplayer. Ooh, what a nuke. Okay. And a confuse. Damn. That's rough. The hell? I haven't actually seen that get pulled off yet. <laughs> Not the confuse part, anyways. I didn't know that ability did that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize she had an ability that did that bullshit too. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was pretty busted. I'm not gonna lie. Right, things are going just as I want them to. <laughs> That's all right too. Or first he confuses you, then he just tosses the sword jet. <laughs> Man, this is uh, it's turning pretty ugly pretty quick. Yeah, I wish the uh, I wish the mobile versions had it. I mean, it was you know, it's pretty obvious that they should have it, but he has not Are the corpse in the way? Are the corpse in the way? Yeah. <laughs> yeah actually, this yeah, is the live was actually just saying something about the two. FFT live was just saying something about the two, like the line of corpse. Actually, it's uh, hindering movement across the bridge. Let's see, <clears throat> bought it for Android. I got to chapter two. I'm level forty, but I'm still getting my ass kicked. 
Not too sure what to tell on that, Dan. It's been a minute since I've messed with PvE stuff. I don't know why. Oh, that's nifty. That's very nifty. What was that? I didn't, I didn't catch it. He that did an MP drain and recovered his own MP, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. Or Drace coming in with some weird tactics tonight. That's what I love to see. Kurt, all right. Chucking the Chaos Blade down the Black Mage. Now there's back up from re-raise. See what we can do. You got any re-raise characters, Trace? Yeah, it's Chick. Agrius? Okay. It's Agrius, yeah. Okay, the icon didn't show up. Well, the buff icon didn't show up from it. Alright, it's a decent teleport. Let's see what uh, Wing is going to pull off here. It is currently 3v3. Alright, Balthier is going to take down the ninjas, ideally. Alright, cut through the mana shield. Should be a KO, and it is. Oh, same percentage as it was. Okay. Uh, so it was the same percent. What well, with uh, red? Yeah. Uh, the shield's in down gone too now. So. That's true. Okay, so invisible might not affect Art of War either way. Uh, I think it did originally because he had the shield and reflexes, so I should have had a zero percent chance, in theory. That's true. Yeah. Well, yeah. With yeah, with the uh, Skushi on, yeah, that should have been like hundred and. 140% or so, something like that, 140, 150% in theory. Do bodies block my item throws? They should not, as long as there's, like, not in the way. Now, if you're talking to, like, where you're currently positioned, and it might, I don't know. Oh, word, it actually cut through. Cool. All right, that one HP Dark Knight, see what you can do. The decent turn order, by the way. Are we going to see a sanguine sword? Nope. What's up, Bebop? All right. It's going to take down Agrius. Dark Knight says 1 HP. Grace is currently down only, was it 1? Character alive. 1v4. Let's see what happens here. Is this match? Or is oh! This first oh! That's unlucky. The crit pushes the Knight 4, causing the second dual wheel strike to miss. Well, at least the mana shield's broken. One time I didn't want to crit. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty much. Yeah. I just want to say, new, you guys are watching that Race, is play against busted. <laughs> it's pretty strong. The hell with your mana shield. All right, Drace is going to go ahead and drain HP to get back to top. However, Chemist is mana shield proc there, so Kimis is not down. You guys are watching Drace play against Wingman right now. This is Drace POV on screen. He is currently Shit. one versus, well, actually two versus three now, and that is Agris is back up. All 
Yeah, Hurts. Can't get All right, appreciate it. Have a good one. This might be a fairly tight battle. Let's see what these two can do. <laughs> Don't win no more Phoenix Downs. That Guessing that uh, Drace is taking the chemist down so that we man can no longer make item plays. Ideally, trying to keep his team alive. Ludia, uh, do you have any plans on bringing a bringing a ROM hacker to your community to bring balance patches? Charming any gender, for example. Um, that's something to look at down the road. Uh, There's def definitely something that Jason talked about, like uh, making aim either like affected by swift charge or even just in, in tandem of like um, being able to move while you're aiming, cutting down the speed or making even insta gas or something like that. But yeah, that's stuff we have we you know in like the pipeline. Um, but right now our biggest focus is making sure that we're getting you know, have people actively playing. All right, well I think we're done with game one here. Going to wingman stuff. Drace said GG. Wingman. GG you know. Drace. Said GG Drace. Game one will go to wingman. We're going to be going to game two here. Uh, do you guys need to. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Do you guys need a sideboard? Uh, I'm good if he's good. Okay, both good. Okay, so game two will be on Mount Bervenus. Wingman on your host. Hosting. Hosting. Um, I don't think we're looking at that about making our like custom classes FFT. Um, there's a few things that we're you know looking at. One one thing that has been brought to our attention though, um, and we've talked about on Discord a little bit, and I've talked to Drace a little bit as well. Uh, and this will be coming out a bit more in the coming week is doing like full pre-made builds for those that aren't necessarily inclined with tactics or it just has been so such a long time that they're not really familiar with what's going on oh it's jay oh okay my bad fft i forgot you were jay jl um <clears throat> Drace just brought that to my attention uh so yeah exactly so yeah we actually we were talking talking about that um you know the conversation we had with rajan and that's something that we might be looking at too. The same thing that you were <laughs> appreciate it. Uh, the same thing that you were actually looking at doing. So I might get in touch with you about that, like within the coming week. And then honestly, probably in a couple of days, uh, touch base with you and kind of just connect on what the things you got going on and some of the ideas that we also uh, brought up. So. Yep. Sounds good. All right, so we're going to be getting ready to go into game two. Mount Bervenus, Wingman is the host. Drace is the guest. You guys are watching Drace POV. He's getting his battle party ready to go, and we'll soon commence the next round. This is a best of three game series. Currently, Wingman has one. Drace has zero. Gonna bring my boy? Go bring my boy? Ah, oh, come on now. Yeah, I know y'all want that Biblos. <laughs> Have you been playing around with some of the lower graded uh, special characters? Uh, a little bit. Not so much. Uh, I've been, actually been looking at Mustadio a little bit for whatever reason. Um, you? Try Mustadio. Oh, the machinist, right? Yeah, yeah. I actually found out. 
that when you first meet him, he actually has uh, safeguard maintenance. And I was looking at that maybe in a later part was uh, to possibly change his job to the engineer job that has safeguard. So he has a little bit more viability. So he has innate maintenance kind of deal. But that is once again down the road. So it won't really make him that good, but having a built-in safeguard, you know, obviously would be decent against like Meliado, Balthier, Thieves, Art of War kind of deal. All right, guys, here we go. Starting game two. This is Drace's POV. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty awesome. Give him a little bit more viability, because right now he's completely outshined by Balthier. Double ninja? <laughs> yes, sir. All right, Drace is going to start off buffing his uh, allies with haste uh, and reading. But two of them got haste. He's going for a, a quick kill on somebody. Might be. Where did I put my? Oh, I put my chemist in a very poor position. It's not good. Alright, switching over to Wingman's Ninja. See who's about to want to make a buff play or what? Let's see what you got. Always make the buff play. Yeah, we always out here. Going. We out here buffing it up. <laughs> <laughs> I've almost thought about running uh, all, like, everyone's already got haste equipped and then I can just, like, pretty much move before any of his characters almost. Yeah, not a bad idea. But, I mean, at the same time, this gives you the ability to not have to slot haste. Or wait, you know, yeah. change your gear out. You can run something else. It seems synergy. Well, with Arithmetic's banned, it's not really, like, the accessory slot isn't as big of a deal. Depends. Uh, very true. Alright, hurry up with the ninja in the back. Alright, we're going back to Drace's turn. Second ninja's up to act. Just gonna push this ninja forward. See what happens next. Interesting. The second ninja has darkness on him, so wondering if he's trying to do a darkness pull or he's gonna try to do a throw. Darkness skills off. Magic? Darkness or attack? Uh, varies on the ability. Um, but okay. bravery is one thing, and then like you know, PA PA two. <sighs> All right, taking down the shield. Ludia, um, as far as uh, it kind of depends on how uh, or how long Drace and we went, you know, want to play. Uh, for at least right now, it's at least going to be a, a three-game series. So, depending on if Wingman wins this game or if we go into a game three, um, kind of you know, will dictate all that stuff. Maybe they'll end up playing like, a, like just a single game after. I'm not too sure. Um, we're looking at at least an hour time, hour hour and a half, depending on how long uh, the match takes. Alright, Swingman is going to retaliate with Sanguine Sword on Andres Ninja. Man is shielded. The shield is broken. I guess I should have Infernal Strike as well. Oh well. That made a lot more sense. That's fine. It's about the same thing, honestly. Unless you just need yeah. a mana. Well, I get my shield back, too. True, true. Where do you line up here? Mm 
Oh, uh, yes. Interesting. All right. Wingman has put his belt there at the utmost vertical position. I think it's time to start raining arrows. <laughs> All right. It's going down. Take down Drace's Black Mage. And that's a wrap there. Belthier's in a pretty hot spot where he is on the maps, and this is the highest point. And with Drace's team lineup, it's going to be probably pretty hard for him to get up there, minus using Darkness abilities to, or even Holy Sword to reach up there, since they don't look at verticality as a limit. So you can basically be at height zero, and Balthier could be at whatever height he's on, and still be able to Darkness or Holy Sword from all the way down low. Ooh, that rent. <laughs> All right, so interesting. Broke the moon blades. I take it on the haste. Did you do run weapon, Cody? Yeah. Yeah. Why did that happen? Why did that happen? That's what Drace is wondering. Uh, uh, what, what, what do you got on Drace? So okay, so I think we found an interesting tidbit here. So Ren might actually just randomize the weapon. Instead, it might if you're running dual wield, it might just it might as well just pick a weapon. That is a good rend, regardless, because I did drop the ninja's haste on top of that. So, uh, interesting play there for sure. Drace is a little frustrated over that. <laughs> <laughs> it, I mean, yeah, you would think that it would take the left hand first and then to the right. It would go from top or the right, so it should go from top to bottom. But maybe Ren is actually just randomizing the pick if you're running dual wield. So. All right, so see what we got. <laughs> All right, we man's black man is gonna do uh, Kiki Javanji. And that is a double. It's a pretty good lineup there. Took down Grace's Agrius as well as the Ninja. Grace is at a race. high disadvantage right now. Yep. He does every race. That's true. So basically at this point, turn it, order is going to be very important. Especially for Grace's behalf. All right, let's see what Drace is going to do. The lad. <laughs> Your boy's back. Lad is back. <laughs> Vlad. The lad. Lad the ninja. Mm. Arc the lad. That's another game series. Let me check out some point. All right, Drace is going to go in and Chaos Blade throw Wingman's Black Mage. Draining his mana shield completely. And now it is Drace's Dark Knight. Let's see what the follow-up play is going to be. Oh, he rape my Black Mage. I would, uh... We'll see. There's uh, many options, at least from what I'm seeing, that he can do. But what kind of play can he make? And at a disadvantage or a team disadvantage at the moment. That's interesting. All right, Blade Drace is gonna go for a jump, and Agrius has revived from the dead with a re-raise. Should be the end of Drace's act, at least for the for the moment. Once Agrius is done. All right, Drace is choosing to wait. Okay, interesting. So Agra should, in theory, get her turn back faster as long as she's alive. Based on the turn order, for now it is Wingman's Ninja's turn. Uh. Back here again. All right, Wingman's going to push up his ninja. Oh, fuck. Right, what kind of play we're going to be making here? I'm 
going for the Surge Raiden, Raging Inferno. That is a KO. Agrius is back down. Actually, it's red. <laughs> All right. He is in a pretty good position map-wise right now. He could potentially take the game here very soon. Let's see what Balthier is going to play. Going for the extremely long-range barrage. It could hit the whole down. map from up here. <laughs> yeah, that is crazy. Ninja is down for the count, and I believe that's going to be a wrap for this game two series. Going to Wingman. Not yet. Who do you have up still? Am I missing something or... Ah, uh, homeboy. I completely forgot that Dark Knight was in the air. I was wondering why the game... <laughs> Pretty much, Jay. I was wondering why the game didn't end. Like, hold up. Oh, it's just... Yeah, she's being retarded. Yeah, I completely forgot. Jump, that's one thing about jump. It really, like... You're trying to figure everything else out, and you just completely forget that someone was even on the board. There's no way to track, honestly. All right, so just to throw it back up. Trace has one more character remaining. Wingman's going to high ether his black mage so that his mana shield has a chance to reproc. And now it is Wingman's black mage turn. It's very good use of turn order once again, so he knew what was about to happen. Taking advantage of getting his black mage in position. Let's see what happens here. Going for the uh excuse me, the Kikujin Munji. To break the uh, Dark Knight's mana shield. All right, and it is your boy Balthier back at it again. And it looks like we're going for the barrage hit. Shields are down, and Dark Knight is out. Drace has been eliminated. Game two, Wayman is the victor. G folks, it is a wrap. It's a GG. G. G. Yeah, no, Belthier is just. I wanted to see how bad he was. Just, just straight vertical maps, and it's just strong. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think there's like a whole like six tiles I couldn't hit from my screen. Well, I mean, to be fair, you put him in, you're playing on a map that only has one real vertical spot. So yeah, the true. fact that you got him into that position, well, one, you spawn on that side. That's one critical part. Then you're able to put him in a position where with a bow, he's able to basically arc anywhere just about from where he's at. And then with barrage, being barrage and being able to bust through random shields, that's going to be a very big problem for Drace. So, uh, I mean, yeah, pretty strong, but, you know, pretty good advantage, pretty good tactical play in my book. Yeah. All right, folks, that was the end of the best of three. One second. All right, so apologies, folks. Um, all right, so uh, we're seeing Jay. Do you choose your team before the map? Um, yes. So how we have the current, uh, well, basically the match flow is this. Uh, obviously, you get two people together who want to play a match. Uh, the tactics bot, the bot that's in Discord, has a command, or it's like question mark host, and you put in both players' names. I'll randomize your pick who becomes host, whoever is host, gets to uh, pick three maps out of the current map pool to have for game one, game two, and game three. Um, and of course, ideally, you would be setting up your team to take advantage of the maps that you selected as much as your opponent would. Once those maps are selected, then the guest player or your opponent would then ban a non-unique ability that both players cannot use for the duration of the match. 
And then from there, host starts it up, man, et cetera, et cetera. Lydia. So how do you plan on streaming matches like if I fought against somebody that wasn't you? Um, I mean, best thing I could tell you there, uh, if you have the ability to stream, by all means, we can host host your uh, POV or host your channel uh, through Twitch. I could also do that too. That's actually something I wouldn't mind doing, and I probably would enjoy, honestly. Um, but currently, we're pretty much the only ones that are really set up the stream at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much the restream part would be the, the best bet, yep. That way it's already taken care of. I can kind of like preemptively look through and kind of see how everything went, and that way I can kind of plot it pretty well. Uh, real quick, Drayson Weeman, are you guys trying to do like a quick match real quick, or you guys want to just call it? What's up? Uh, uh like wing. Or whatever. Heard that you're both down for whatever, so what are y'all trying to do? Y'all want to just play like a, a quick game, try some different kind of deal? Yeah, you can do another ban if you would like. Okay, how about this? Um, I will get the Discord bot to roll a map. And then this time, when you can ban, since Dre's got the ban. Sound good? Yeah. Let me uh, see what we got. <clears throat> All right. Monastery Vault's level two. It is. Uh, Drayson, go in and host that. Okay, what kind of thing? What ability are you trying to ban? Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's ban movement. Want to ban? Okay, so we're banning all of move one, two, and three. Okay, move has been decided for ban. That is that is the plan, Aludia. Is to you know once we get things going, people are you know playing kind of deal like that. Yep. All right, Jay. Thanks for coming in, man. And I would, yeah, I'll definitely uh, hit you up here in a little bit. Maybe if not tonight, it'll probably be tomorrow or Monday. We'll talk about those uh, that plan we we're talking about earlier. Have a good one. Oh no, you no, no problem, Lydia. I mean, yeah, if you get, I mean, that's the thing, like, this is basically a side project for all of us. Um, you know, if you get a little time to do some theory crafting or just want to play a match, you know, that's kind of, you know, maybe get a couple hours, throw it in Melee, the Melee channel, see if anybody wants to play or set a time up, kind of like, make it a little easier for everyone. Jedi Academy, okay. That is, uh, it's actually one of my games back in the day, so let me know what you got going on there. So straight deadly. Okay. Uh, band move one two one two three. Yeah. Okay. What uh what is what is Dudley streaming? Is he streaming tactics or something else? Valorant. Okay. I had to check that game sometime, but also kind of like don't want to sit in a stream just to get a stream key or a game key. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, he started, uh, I'm assuming he's the one who started FFTO. So the fact that he put all that like initial effort and stuff like that and keeping keeping that whole group alive. Yeah, definitely would uh, you know, be able to contact him. Okay. He is the main fan. Okay. Dudley the, was like the main founder for uh, FFTO. Discord. For those that are tuning in, uh, we have concluded our battle test match. However, we are doing a quick game uh, with Drace versus Wingman. This is Drace POV. This is Yoshi on the mic commentating slash talking. Uh, the, I guess you guys are getting ready to prep up. They're currently going to be banning move move ability which uh currently banning move affects all of move one two and three so we're getting uh getting out of situated real quick a 
Wingman, are you good? Are you still adjusting? Uh, one second. Make sure. I was trying to see if he, uh, still going. He's still working on stuff, too. Did you say it was? Oh, wait, he's hosting. I think yeah, I got yeah, it. He's, yeah, up. he's host. You're banning. Banning move. You guys are still in the, uh, build phase. Kind of ban move. I mean, it's an interesting ban. I'm not gonna lie. Move, everyone pretty much runs move three. For the most part, mine is man of final man of shield kind of combo, so. I'd like to see how the game plays out. Plus, if uh, for those that are viewing, if you didn't know already, um, banning move does affect the ninja's throw ability since throw is tied, or the throw distance is tied to your move stat. So, banning that is also going to affect moves. So, move, or excuse me, banning that's going to affect throw. So that is a um, that could be a potential change in how ninjas will work or anyone that's running through. So let's see how they how these two guys uh manage to play around that. Drace, you good? Drace is ready. Wing, you good? You still building? Waiting on him. Waiting? Okay, good to go. Give him one sec. Oh, let's see how this plays out. This might actually be a slower match. I didn't think about it. Fine. Your host, the map is Monastery Vaults Level 2. Alright, go ahead and join, Cody. Drace is, uh, wanting to let you know that you hope you're ready for cancer, so. Uh, he's probably running like arithmetics or something. Yeah, how uh, my aggro build goes. <laughs> Curious. Agro tanky build. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work very well. We'll see. I mean, best thing is to try stuff out, right? Yeah. Hmm? Yes. Yep. Uh, wait. Am I upstairs or downstairs? Okay. So since he's host, you will be mid stairs. For mid stairs, he gets yeah. the advantage on this map. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you're the enemy. Yep. <clears throat> What happens? Oh man, that's this is a bad map for. <laughs> this is not a good map for me. I think I'm gonna lose this one. Right. Definitely losing this one. Well, that's cool. David's trying to give me cancer. Sounds like it. <laughs> All right. For those that are tuning in, this is Drace versus Wingman. Drace is. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Interesting. We're playing on Monastery Vaults level two. Drace will get first act. Wonder if it's oh man, and he's behind a block that stinks. Mm, good old bookcase. Possible to rent his weapon if I can get at an angle. I don't think I can do that with three steps though. Oh maybe. All right, Andres is going to first buff his party, giving them haste and region. All right.
right, and now we're over to Wingman's Balthier. Oh, really? Yeah. I forgot. I forgot. Okay. Remind you of. Don't go for it. Don't go for it. Okay. <laughs> David said, uh, hurry up and kill his ninja. <laughs> hurry up and kill what? Kill his ninja. His ninja? Yeah. He, I think he, like, messed up something because of the move ban. Uh-oh. Alright. We man is pushing his belt here to the front line. Let's see what happens. Alright. We're getting that good old bow arc. Taking down the black mage. Oh, we got a manishal proc. And black mage is down. Ninja. All right, and we was going to end his ninja's turn. I'm switching over to Drace's Balthier. Oh yeah, he did forget to take his movement plus three off. Mm. Except you did, yeah, bastard. Yeah, he's saying so you can't go any more than four. Four throw and four move. Alright. See what Drace's Balthier is gonna do. Alright, Drace's um, Balthier's gonna barrage Wingman's Chemist, broke the mana shield, and Chemist goes down. Alright, bastard. Alright, switching back over to Wingman's turn is Wingman's White Mage. I knew I should. All right, Wingman, what's the play here? What about plotting? All right. Uh, I can't really move anywhere to do anything right now, so this is kind of what I'm stuck doing. Did that. All right, so Wingman's gonna go and advance his Black Mage over. I'm gonna wait the turn out here. We're over to Drace's turn. And it's Drace's Dark Knight. Alright, Dark Knight is advancing towards Wingman's Balthier. And Dark Knight's gonna go for the Sanguine Sword against Wingman's Ninja. Mana shield absorbed. The hit. Angel lives to see another day. Alright. Now on to Drace's knight. Let's see what the next play he's going to make. Is he going to take the ninja down or is he going for another play? For 
Blaze going for the ninja. So Sanguine Sword, finish off the ninja, and that is down. And now to Drace's ninja. Four panels, yep. Just going to advance towards the front line. Gonna go for the Doom Aspirations. Interesting play. All right. Oh, that is definitely an interesting play. All right. So Balthier has MP drained and doomed at the same time. Balthier's mana shell is down, making him vulnerable to next incoming hits. There's going to teleport outside the current Drace stack. And is going for an arm shot against Drace's Balthier. That was a good play. Drace's Balthier is now disabled, which means he cannot act. He can still move. But because of that, he is, the CT gauge will still be decreased, even if he can't act. Now is back to Drace's Balthier, which is just recently disabled so you cannot make any plays with it currently outside of movement all right and now we're switching back over to wingman's white mage Can't do anything down here. <laughs> <laughs> I am so neutered right now. Oh my god. Are you There's nothing of, I can do. Is it because of move or is it just because of like... Uh, move or... and like just being able to get anywhere. Like I, no, I can't land any of my Yattos. It's too high. Too high, right, right. Okay, so currently Drace is at a height advantage. We cannot... Um, uses the auto skills because there's too much verticality. Alright, Wingman's gonna go move his Black Mage and end his turn. Back to Drace Ninja. Just gonna do position his ninja directly behind his Balthier. What kind of play he's trying to make here? damage off no status effects however uh we miss Balthier is on his last doom counter so once Balthier goes to his next or not this turn but the next turn he will be doomed and will be instantly KO'd now his Balthier does have re-raise however so after he gets KO'd the next turn Balthier would act he would be re-raised at that point 
Okay, so Wingman is making an interesting play here. He's pushing his Balthier in position to use Martial Arts Revive to get his Chemist back up. Not a bad play, not a bad play at all, Wingman. Let's see what Wingman Skimmers is going to be doing here. This could be uh, could put potentially put Wingman at a decent advantage, depending on how he plays this out here. So let's see what kind of play he makes. Be able to do more. This is going for a written speed. It did land on Dreza's Balthier. He has lost two speed points. Balthier is going to be very slow to act. He is. It is his upcoming turn, however, so he still is able to act, but he cannot make an action because he's still disabled. That a wager disabled will probably naturally end mm, probably about three more Balthier turns. So right now, Drace's belt here is kind of a sinning duck. This is almost like a game of chess. This is getting pretty interesting, I guess. At first I thought it was going to be a, a fairly quick sweep, but this has slowed down quite a bit, and now it's become a thinking man's game. Alright, Drace is positioning his Balthier off the stairs. Once again, he cannot act, so that's going to end the turn there. Now we're on to Wingman's White Mage. Alright, Wingman's White Mage is advancing, but still really unable to act. Then we're going to end his turn, now we're back to Drace's Dark Knight. But freaking teleport on everybody, it would have been fine. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, I'll just put mana on in everybody, that thing's busted. It has <laughs> done me hardly any good this game. <laughs> yep. And that, folks, would be why maps do matter, in some cases. <laughs> Balthier which should be going down here on his next action since he has one, or excuse me, Wingman's Balthier will be going down his next action since he has one more tick on his Doom Sentence. Drace is going ahead and advance his Dark Mage down to Wingman's group level. Let's see what kind of play he's going to make here. Alright, you're just going to go for the crushing blow against Wingman's Black Mage. Will he get the stop off, or will it be a mana drain? Sure enough, hit Black Mage's mana shield, so that absorbed the hit. And that's going to be it for that Dark Mage's turn. And next up is Drace's Knight. Wingman's 
Move them a little bit to get the mana shield proc. Or excuse me, the mana font proc. So you got some MP back. And he's going to go for a single sword against Wingman's White Mage. Mana shield took the damage there. Now his White Mage, Wingman's White Mage's mana shield is no longer in play currently. Now we're over to Drace's Ninja. Since we have a couple shields down, I'm assuming we're going to be seeing the play here against one of Wingman's characters. Let's see how this plays out. Alright, Jason going for the Chaos Blade against White Mage. Downs White Mage. And that'll be it for Ninja. Hey. Alright, now we're switching over to Wingman's Black Mage. He isn't definitely in a interesting position. Let's see how this plays out here. Alright, we missed first starts off and moves Black Mage forward, getting mana font, so he's restored some MP, increasing the chance for his mana shield to go back off, and we're now seeing Chiru Jiraden against Drace's Ninja and Dark Knight. Is that going to KO or is it going to be shields? Both take the hit through mana shield, neither are KO'd. They are, however, out of mana shield, so we might follow up here. Wingman's Balthier falls from his Doom Sentence, or Death Sentence. So once he gets a turn again, he will then be re-raised because of his re-raised buff. And we come back into action. And we're on to Wingman's Chemist. Alright, Wingman's going to Phoenix down his White Mage back to health. And now we are back to Drace's Balthier, which is still disabled. I believe this was the this is now the second turn from the Three turns that I mentioned, he should come back um, no longer disabled. So we got at least one more turn. Might be a little longer. Uh, I'm not too sure what the clock ticks are sitting at, but it's just a guess. He's got at least three turns ahead of him before he can even do anything with his mouth here. That's going to give Wingman some time to not have to worry about any barrage plays, any leg shots or arm shots. Uh, give him the ability to try to take down Drace's primary lineup and then be able to get that bow there while he still was unable to do anything. Your man's going to go and push his white mage forward into a church raiding, raging inferno. Getting both Dark Knight and Ninja, uh, and Drace, Ninja, and that is a double. They both are down, and Wingman now has the field advantage. We're switching back over to Drace's Knight. He's going to have to make a pretty good play here at this point as Wingman is recovering his group. Alright, Drace is going to go for the Sanguine Sword on the man's white mage. It gets mana shielded. She lives to fight another day. Ideally, that cut or didn't proc so that he actually can get the kill, but that is really going to, assuming it, a uh, bravery of 97 on the white mage, so that gave Drace really only a 3% chance to actually get the hit, and sure enough, it did not go through, uh, through white mage's HP. So now we're over to Wingman's black mage. And he is advancing his Black Mage into Drace's initial territory. No moves, or no actions. And now Wingman's Balthier is back up and ready to go. He's only got 53 HP, but that's still enough to potentially take down one of Drace's enemy, uh, allies. Or make another interesting play using one of Balthier's piracy abilities.
Oh my god, alright. Let's see. <laughs> alright, we got the teleport off. It was a pretty decent jump there. So, Balth Dra uh, Wingman's Balthier is now behind Drace's Balthier. We'll see what kind of plays I'm going to make here. Play. <laughs> I thought I could hit him from here, but I could not. No, you love to see it. We have actual tactical plays here. Wingman is going for the Doomfist against Drace's Balthier and missed the hit at a 69% chance. He's going to end up wasting his turn there practically. And we're switching over to Wingman's Chemist. And advancing to get that mana font MP back. So he has a decent amount of MP to work with. In case he takes any kind of hits, then his mana shield should ideally take the hit instead. Are we going to see another Phoenix down or are we going to see something else? Alright, he's going for the Elixir on White Mage. Elixir's now top, or excuse me, the White Mage is now top back off. Full health, full MP. And Drace's. Balthier is still not out of disabled state. This was the third turn I called it. It didn't happen. So we should be getting really close to the clock ticks where disabled will naturally fall off. But for now, his Balthier is still pretty much useless at this point. This is still giving a very good advantage for Wingman to make the finishing plays here. But he's going to need to start looking at speeding that up. I'm assuming that once Drace's Balthier is back in action, he's going to try to do as much as he can as possible to render Wingman's team down. We're back to Wingman's battle here. This could be a pretty critical moment here as he can pretty much shut down Drace's last actual offense. Balthier gets a teleport. He is looks like he's pushing towards Drace's knight. Hitting me. I am curious if that bookcase is actually making it a little bit difficult for Wingman. <laughs> Wingman's going to end his turn on his Balthier, switching over to Dark Knight, or excuse me, his Black Mage. <laughs> Alright, he's advancing his Black Mage forward towards Grace's Knight. And he's going to end his turn over to Drace's Knight, his only usable character at the moment. He's really going to have to make some plays here with that Knight while his Balthier is still out of action. I think we know what's about to happen here. Alright, Drace is going to put down Holy Sacrifice, an AoE Dark ability. He takes down Wingman's Balthier. It slows Wingman's Black Mage while hitting the mana, or his MP through mana shield. So that was actually a pretty strong play there. His black mage is going to be a lot slower in turns. Probably not going to get much of a turn because pretty much everyone else is hasted at this point. Uh, so that black mage is not going to be acting as much now. And now we're on to Wingman's Chemist, I believe. Advancing once again to get a little bit of MP back. And for you folks out there uh, wondering about MP and Mana Shield, as long as you have one point of MP and you have a Mana Shield reaction, if you take damage, and depending on where your bravery is, most of these guys are running 97 bravery. Since Mana Shield is tied to your bravery, it is basically a percentage. So. Basically, there's a 97% chance that Mana Shield will activate, or a 3% chance it will not. And if it does activate, then that one point of damage... It's still disabled? It's still disabled, yeah. That one point of damage will go, will absorb every bit of damage he takes, even if it's 999. So, Mana Shield's pretty strong in general because of that. Alright, so, Drace's Balthier is still, still disabled. The clock ticks apparently have not ran out yet for his uh, disabled to naturally fall off. So he's still a sitting duck. This is giving Wingman loads of time to not really have to worry about his Balthier, uh, Drace's Balthier from interrupting or decimating his uh, Wingman's lineup. Wingman's going in with the Church Tr Raiden against Drace's Knight. Are we looking at a KO here? It is not. His Knight has fallen to critical status, but he is still alive. 
You know, and Weeman's belt here has, has re-raised, and we could be seeing the end of this match, pretty much. Gray still has his belt here, so he still has technically two units up. But currently, his belt here isn't able really to do much, so Weeman doesn't necessarily have to really worry about him at this time. Let's see what kind of play Wingman makes here, as the game can pretty much come to an end right now. Alright, he advances his Belthier a little bit to the side here. Let's see what kind of uh, ending play he makes with his Belthier. He's going to barrage Drace's Knight. His Knight will definitely go down. And now the only opposition in Wingman's way is Drace's Belthier, which is still currently disabled. It's still barrage there is because... Uh... Alright, disable is off. It's finally reached the clock tick. So now at this point, it is a race for Drace to try to basically get an advantage because he only has one unit on the board now. His re-raise is basically pointless because the battle here goes down at his game over anyways. He doesn't have anyone to kind of wait the time out. So Wingman is at a very good advantage. It is a four versus one right now. He has the board. Let's see what kind of play he makes. Can't run weapon him at all. Is he safeguarded? Uh, no, he's not. All right, run speed hits. That brings down Drace's Balthier's speed by two. That should put, in theory, uh, Wingman's White Mage uh, pretty much in front of his Balthier, I would think, at this point. It could be wrong, depending on where the speed stats are sitting at. But this is now Drace's Balthier's turn. He's really going to have to make a big play here at this point. This time is running out. Ew, I only had two minutes left. <laughs> it took some finagling. <laughs> Just an FYI, FYI on time, on the time limit in tactics. Once your time runs out, it is not an automatic loss. It's just that every time you get a turn, your time goes from zero back to ten. So you only get ten seconds to act. The plunder heart missed. I see what Drace was trying to do there. He's trying to woo. Wingman's female mage so that she would be no longer under Wingman's control and would basically work against him. However, Wingman is now going to push forward with the Shurge Raiden. And let's see if uh, that's a... Nope. Not a KO yet. But however, Drace's Balthier's Man Shield is definitely gone. He has no MP. So at this point, it is almost a open season for Wingman. <laughs> Like that over season boy. <laughs> All right, here it is. Wing man's mouth here. The plays line him up to take him down. Damn. All right, he's going for the barrage, and that's a game. Jeez. That was definitely an interesting game. Good games, gentlemen. It actually went a lot longer than I expected. I think for everybody. Very, uh, very good plays there, especially on Wing man's behalf with disabling. Drace's Balthier, which was disabled for but pretty much a good chunk of the game there. Taking out his unique character and basically cutting down the ability to break shields quickly and pretty much taking down anyone with a barrage. Um, yeah, pretty pretty nice stuff. We did see some uh, interesting plays there on Drace's behalf with getting the slow off on, on Holy Sacrifice. I think that's probably the first time I've actually seen that proc. Um, and getting a nice AoE damage on top of that. Alright, gentlemen, you guys good? Yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah, I think we're done. Okay. Alright. Well, thank you all for tuning in. I think that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, we, just to wrap things up, we did our fourth battle test tonight, which basically uh, was doing a match that included map pool, an actual map pool, where the host gets to pick the maps they want to play on, and the guest player gets to ban an ability that is not tied to a special character in the game. Um, once that was said and done, uh, Wingman took both games won in game two, so he was the victor there. Then they went and did a just a quick game, which ended up being just a little bit longer, uh, almost like a game of chess here. Took a little bit of extra time and a little bit of play. But it was pretty nice to see how tactics played out when it was a little slow down. Um, and Wingman was the victor there as well. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. That will be the end of the stream tonight. We'll catch you on the next time.